a beast of an engine I'm telling you <laughs> right what is going on guys welcome back to another video as you've seen in the title we're doing a video on an F10 M5 the car is just parked over there the plan is today I'm going to give you guys a walk around of the car like we usually do on this channel then we'll take it for a drive and give you guys my sort of first impressions the sort of main topic area we're going to cover is to do with the value though because I believe the F10 M5 now especially with the way sort of used prices work in the UK quite good value I mean you can get an F10 M5 for like low 20k's now a lot of car for the money in my opinion but yeah what we'll do now we'll start with the walk around I'll show you this car quite a nice one competition pack and all and yeah we'll get started right people so here it is the F10 M5 this particular car has got quite a lot of spec on it so I'm going to give you guys a little tour of it and then yeah we'll turn it on as well because this car has gone aftermarket exhaust yeah they will take it for a drive so in terms of the f10 m5 the standard one has around 560 horsepower claimed uh, this particular car is a competition pack though so it has got a few different changes to it uh, one of the main sort of changes is that it's got a bit more power so it's got around 15 extra horsepower there are a few other changes to make the m5 a bit more sort of driver focused though because the earlier sort of f10 m5s they were a bit so more numb apparently uh, these have sort of slightly different damper rates they have a different sort of steering rack uh, there's also different bushings as well uh, the m diff as well is slightly retuned as well so there are a few different changes to make it just a bit more aggressive uh, but generally the f10 m5 as it is is a powerhouse because this one has 575 and the normal one has around 560 allegedly both of those are a lie anyway because they make around 600 on the dyno anyway so you're getting a huge amount of power either way um, it's powered by a 4.4 litre twin turbo v8 um, i'm quite ahead of its time in my opinion it's got a sort of hot v configuration um, it's also got dct gearbox standard the only gearbox available in the uk uh, you could get manual in the us but we don't get that around here um, also this particular car is finished in a very special paint it's an individual color it's called citrine black so if you look it's got this sort of brown sort of fleck in it also to go with the spec it's got m carbon ceramic brakes as you can see by the gold sort of calipers quite smart in terms of the way it matches with the whole car um, you've got a sort of lighter beige interior as well so overall quite a classy spec this one the number plate seems to have fallen off as well it's not my car so i don't know the sketch with that um you can also get full LED adaptive headlights on some cars as well. This particular car doesn't have it, uh, but most things are ticked. Move around the car. Generally, the F10 M5 is quite a sort of discreet car. It's not like, you know, when you look at like an F80 M3, it's really wide and aggressive. Uh, these are more sort of like a grown up car, you could put it that way. You got a subtle flare on the front, um, but nothing too extreme. If you look there, I'll just zoom in. But around the back it's very normal in my opinion but i think that's the whole appeal of the m5 the only mod this car has though is this eisenman exhaust i believe it's a catback system it does sound quite good now the standard m5 competition pack the f10 does have a slightly different exhaust system so it is a bit louder anyway uh, but the owner has gone for an eisenman system as you can see here quite popular the eisenman systems especially back in the e60 m5 days they had those crazy loud systems but also you get these competition pack wheels which are very nice in my opinion um they are split opinions some people like the standard sort of five spokes but i think these look quite smart with the um, carbon ceramic brakes They've got a nice gray sort of finish two-tone moving on to the interior inside this car's got sort of a lighter beige interior um goes with the sort of classy sort of paintwork which is black with a sort of brown shade in it also you get a sunroof on all f10 m5s i believe it's standard you also get the dct box as mentioned that is standard and you get all the sort of m drive logic sort of functions there um, m steering wheel as well generally quite a nice smart sort of luxurious interior also got the harman kardon too but yeah just showing you guys the seats you got these sort of pillow style headdress which you can sort of pull inwards it's like a sort of aeroplane sort of vibe um, very nice um, overall a very comfortable car um, not meant to be like a track weapon or anything but that's the whole purpose of the m5 i'll just open the bonnet to show you guys the engine bay right so here we go as mentioned 4.4 liter v8 twin turbo um, this thing producing around 575 bhp according to bmw the standard m5 f10 has around 560 like i mentioned both of those do tend to be a lie though as proven on many dynos all f10 m5s seem to reduce around 600 horsepower uh, you can feel it as well when you're driving serious amount of torque as well just a very good power plant especially for the amount of money you can pay for an f10 m5 now you can get them for around low 20s around 25k gets you a decent one uh, this one being a competition pack is probably around so they start from around 30 depending on spec one like this with spec is probably a bit more 
but even at that price though you're getting such a huge amount of car not literally i mean it's physically is huge as well but i mean in terms of what you're getting in terms of spec uh engine power sort of m sort of driving dynamics it is a lot of car for the money but what we'll do we'll just close the bonnet and yeah we'll turn on the car right so here is the start button Right, so as you heard there, definitely sounds very good. Uh, the Eisenman system gives this sort of extra sort of growl. One thing though, you don't get to hear the full sort of potential of the exhaust when it's stationary. Uh, the S63 motor does in these M5 and M6s, it has sort of a um, 4 5k limiter when you're sort of revving it in neutral. Uh, it definitely opens up after that though. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take it for a drive, give you guys my sort of first impressions. Yeah, just see how the F10 M5s like to drive. Right guys, here we are on the F10. It's inefficient right now. I think what we'll do, because the sun is setting, we'll push straight into Sport Plus and just see what I can do. Like I said, I've driven the um, M6 Grand Coupe, etc. So I am familiar with this old powertrain um, and having driven a fair few M cars by now. But this is the first sort of competition pack F10 M5 I've been in. So quite interested to see what the um, changes feel like. From what I read, there's different bushings, the slightly different sort of spring rates. Uh, the steering rack is a bit different also uh, there's just generally a nice few changes to make the car just a bit more sort of driver focused because uh, apparently when this car came out the f10 m5 people felt it was a bit disconnected the drive but we'll see how it goes anyway um, i still think regardless of competition pack or not these things present like a really good value proposition um, they start from low 20s which you just can't beat for the amount of power you're getting all right sport plus As I remembered, it's like a jet. <laughs> you do get that sort of fake sound coming in, but I can guarantee though this thing with the exhaust is a lot loud from the outside. If it's not too windy, I will put the windows down here and there. <laughs> I've got a sunroof open as well. Yeah, though that's what i like about it the yeah, multifunction seats in this particular one are quite nice you just be relaxed and just go wherever you want you can probably sit on the autobahn at 200 when delimited i'm pretty sure of it yeah i'm quite impressed with the traction definitely i mean i've got it in i don't think it's even in mdm mode it's just a normal sport plus it's definitely getting off guys it's definitely getting off So I'm just going to put the car into M2 mode. The owner's already preset his settings in here. So from what I can see, he's got MDM on M2. He's got Sport Plus on the engine, Sport Plus on the suspension, and Sport steering. Also, the third sort of rusty on the gear changes. We'll give it a go. I am normally a fan of comfort steering though, so we'll see how it goes. Not bad, <laughs> considering this car's like two tons. It gets out the hole pretty quick, it doesn't sort of hang around or like... I think it must be the retuned diff on the competition back, it must be. It's not having any traction issues at all right now. Because the normal ones that you drive, they... The traction like flickers even when pulling out a junction. 
They're that sensitive. It definitely tricks around you. Definitely tricks around you. To a lot of people, these cars are quite intimidating. You're thinking like rear wheel drive, basically 600 horsepower. It's probably going to be all over the place, but it's not the case. If you respect the car, flow it through a few corners and don't be too aggressive with the gas. Like, of course, don't use it as an on and off switch. Feed it in. Yeah, you make a lot of progress. You also get a nice noise as well. <laughs> Damping's quite good as well. Some people have complained about the F10 M5, specifically the compact being quite stiff. Um, I'll be honest, it's not like exactly like spongy right now. It is quite hunkered down, but then that's probably why it handles this way. You gotta have that trade-off, I guess. I mean, a comfort mode before when we were just cruising around, it wasn't a problem. But if you're gonna attack a B road, you do want it to have like a Jekyll and Hyde personality. Uh, that's one thing the M5 does do very well. It like, physically holds you back, like. That's the way I'll put it. And even this little fake sound sounds like a spaceship. <laughs> Forgot I can use a little lever. I'm so used to using a lever in my M2. Yeah, that's better. Keep it. Yeah, look at this, man. I'm very impressed, man. I'm not going to lie.